Before I begin, I would like to say that when I'm gonna talk about grooming, I'm referring to sand under table, not icebergs. I never once made the argument back in the ice situation that he was a groomer, because when the investigation was done back in September, it came to a conclusion that he's guilty of the non-consensual fetish art sent to Icy, not to the grooming. So why is this all suddenly relevant again? If you guys haven't been up with what has been going on in the past few months, allow me to do a slight little recap. On September 17th, I would release a video called Keep Ice Banned, which talked about the document that a person called Icy made about their relationship with icebergs, in which we find out that it was incredibly inappropriate and that this sort of behavior should warrant a ban. A day later, Ice would release his document which explained his side of the story, stating that most of the things that happened were true, that of course being the inappropriate messages and the art that he made without Icy's consent. And after that livestream that I did, me and Slugger, the mod in which I got into a heavy debate during the situation, both settled privately and met an agreement that not only should I stay banned, but that this shouldn't get mentioned in the community anymore, since it was pretty much over. But then, after this whole settlement, I would later get into a private conversation with Anarchy, one of the main developers of the game since 2021, in which all he told me is that after his investigation on the case, that, quoting from his own words, Ice has been banned, and as a result, he wanted me to take down the video as a way to avoid any more conflict, since, much like how he told me, there's no point in keeping it alive when everything is done. I would like to presurface this, because what recently happened in the community might be the start of a larger problem if nothing is done about it. Anarchy has stated in the Discord blog, two months later after the entire situation was over, that both Ice and Sand would get unbanned. And the three reasons were that the situations had nothing to do with the community, the second reason being that it was overblown by outsiders who were exiled from the community, who were also, going from his words, known for causing drama, and that they were only banned for being associated with a major conflict and wanted to figure out what was up. Not only is the last reason incredibly vague and doesn't explain anything, but the other two reasons on why they should be unbanned are hypocritical and make absolutely no sense whatsoever. And in case you don't want to believe me, the person who got involved and wrote the book on this case, then let me explain to you why. I would like to say that everything I'm about to tell you is not only 100% true, but 100% sourced, and you can find all the links in the description. The reason of it was outside of the community so it's completely fine isn't in any way a good argument, because this was also the same argument Slugger made back in September in defense of Ice's initial unban. To which, by the way, he also said in his own response to my video that it wasn't a good point at all. Here's the statement. I never made the point of it was private just to say as if it were a good point on its own, because it isn't. I know that. I said that because I already had my thoughts in place. I should have elaborated and said that, but I didn't. That's my fault. Not convinced yet? Here's a statement from Ice's document in which he acknowledges how it's not a good point. On one hand, since it was between partners, it really should be a non-issue. On the other, I fully acknowledge that us being minors doesn't make it any less immoral. The screenshots presenting the fetish stuff are true. As mentioned before, I would have never brought that up to them if they said that they were uncomfortable with it. Oh, and by the way, the last part of I would have never brought that up to them if they said they were uncomfortable with it is a half-truth. Because while Icy didn't explicitly tell Ice that they were uncomfortable, there were some messages that did convey it and that they didn't do it because they didn't want to kink shame Ice. Either way you look at it, the reason of it's outside of the community so it doesn't matter doesn't make any sense and is a very bad point. And it's pretty funny that a lot of people disagreed with Anarchy. Rightfully so. The second reason being that it was overblown by outsiders who were exiled from the community known for causing drama is literally anarchy not only downplaying the work I've done in the case back in September, but also downplaying the tweet from Beans that was made back in that same time period, which is what made people know about the situation in the first place. Because if you were to ask a longtime member, a moderator, or even Anarchy himself about my video on the situation, they will tell you that it was an elaborate hit piece that was made to slander eyes completely and had no good intentions at all. That's a complete lie. In the video and in the stream, I never made the argument that I should get harassed or that anybody involved should get harassed. All I said 
is to get the moderation team to wake up and actually see the gravity of the situation, regardless if one of your friends is part of it. Because one of the things that happened while I made Keep Ice Band public is that one of Ice's friends, that ever since he was banned, he's been taking a long break to actually improve on himself and become a better person, and that he doesn't plan on coming back to the community anytime soon. You can see that Ice is accepting the fact that what he has done is wrong, and he's also accepting the fact that he should stay banned to become a better person. However, the high ranks, and now developers, will not tell you that. If anything, they'll tell you that Ice did nothing wrong, and that he shouldn't be banned. In case you haven't noticed, for this entire situation, I didn't really talk much about Sand. Mostly because that entire situation was already settled back in 2022 with him getting banned. All I did was bring up that situation to make an example of what the mods should do when a known person in the community is exposed for being inappropriate. But, since Anarchy decided to unban him as well, let me explain how this is also problematic. After a full year of keeping a person banned because they groomed a then 13 year old to ERP with them, Anarchy thinks it's the best idea to unban him while also giving no real reason as to why the sudden decision was made. Both Ice and Sand were banned for a good reason, and they should stay that way because that's what we thought was best back in 2022, and also what we thought was best back in September. Yet Anarchy, knowing that he's one of the developers of the game, meaning he can do whatever he wants, decides to flip the script entirely, silently ban me, and try to sweep it all under the rug with an Era Warfare collab. Now tell me, viewer, is this what we should expect from a Rolf developer? A TC2 developer, who's known for making two of the greatest updates in TC2's history, and is also part of one of the most well-known game dev teams on Roblox, is openly accepting and tolerating people who were previously exiled for being groomers and for sharing NSFW art non-consensually. This is no longer a bunch of high ranks clearly being in blind faith. This is no longer about a moderator who doesn't understand the gravity of the situation and starts being a dumbass. This is an important figure, not only to the TC2 community, but also to Rolf as a whole, abusing his power to get controversial figures back in the community when no one wants them back. This problem can no longer be resolved by ourselves, because we already managed to do that two months ago. Other people need to know that we don't want groomers and weirdos in our community, and we also don't want people that defend those types of people to not only stay in our community, but also work on the game we play. I don't give a fuck if you did two good updates back in 2021. This is absolutely revolting, and I don't want this sort of shit happening to the community that I've been the most attached to. I want every single one of you that is watching this video to spread this message to anyone that comes to your mind. Because we need our voice to be heard once again, so we can not only save our own community, but also Rolf's image. So, anyone at Rolf watching this, I hope you get this message loud and clear. Fire Anarchy.